In this video, I'll show you how to create a PNG image of your head in Photoshop and also how you can create a animation with it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's jump straight to my laptop. All right, in Photoshop, I'll go to new file, create a new file with resolution 1980 by 1080 and then click on create. Then the next thing I'll do is go to my files and select one of my pictures. In this case, it must be a picture where you're not talking. You're basically when your mouth is shut. So I think this one is fine. Then I'm going to drag it and place it in Photoshop. Now, the next thing I'll do is hit on W for the quick selection tool and just zoom in a little bit so I can see better and then quickly select my head like that. And again, I'm going to zoom in more by holding control and hitting the plus button and then i just reselect the things that hasn't been selected then i'm going to press control and j to create a copy of that and deselect the main image so right now we've got my head and what i'm going to do next is press control and t to resize it a bit like that and place it at the center of the screen right but i see that there is few things that i have to remove so i will create a mask i'll zoom in a bit and just remove the things that i don't like by hitting on b for the brush tool just slightly remove a few of the stuff on this image like that then to make this image transparent i just gonna deselect the background and now we've got transparent image and that's how you can cut out any part of your body and create a PNG image in Photoshop. But I'm going to do one more thing that's going to help us to create a animation in Premiere Pro. So I'll zoom in again over here. Then I'm going to press P for the pen tool and select this part of my head. It's going to be just the mouth. I'm going to click with the right button of the mouse, go up to make selection and from fader radius, I'm going to use two pixels and then click on OK. Now I'm going to press again Ctrl and J to copy it. And at the same time, while we've got the thumbnail selected, I'm going to hold Ctrl and click it one more time. And I'll disable this layer, select my head layer and hit on backspace so we can delete this part of my head then i'm going to press ctrl and d to deselect it and also i'm going to delete this part i will select the mask then hit b for the brush tool and just remove that part of my head because we don't need this beard i want to have a quick trim <laughs> like that and now again i will enable my mouse layer and as you can see we've got a slight line over here but that's fine because it's not going to be so visible in Premiere Pro. The next thing I'll do is go to File and go down to Save As. Make sure that you save it on your computer. Okay, and then save it as a PSD file. Also, I'm going to change the name to Head number three, and then I'm going to click on Save. Also, I'm going to click on OK as well. Now, in the next step, I'll go to Premiere Pro and upload this PSD file. Then this window gonna jump in front of us and from import as, instead merge all as, I gonna select individual layers like that. This gives you the option to choose which layers you would like to upload in Premiere Pro. Then I gonna click on okay. And this will automatically create this folder inside it. Then I'm gonna open it and drag my head layer onto video track number two and then my mouth layer onto video track number one. Now for the animation, I'll select my mouth layer and then create a keyframe onto position. Then I'll move five frames forward by holding shift and hitting the right arrow of the keyboard and just track my mouth further down like that. Then again, I'll move another five frames forward and create another keyframe with the original value. And after that, I'll select all of those keyframes. I'll copy them move another five frames forward and paste them by hitting Ctrl and V. And to save time and effort, I'll select all of them again, Ctrl and C, move a few frames forward and then Ctrl and V to paste it. And when I play from the beginning, we've got this creepy animation. And that's only one of the animations that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. And also, if you want to find out how to create a lower third, including your head's PNG image, you can watch the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.